Okay, what the heck is that silly thing? Somebody asked me if I knew how to make a torch that looks kind of like the medieval torches that you see, uh, you know, in the castles or some silly thing. And I thought about this for a little while, and I thought, well, you know, there's, I don't really like people making things like this that don't know what they're doing. And I could either just not do it, or I could do it and try to make it the safest way possible and hope that they pay any attention. Well, that's what I decided to do. I'm going to make this thing, I have made this thing, and I put a flame safety on it, and I'm going to show how it's done, but I want to show how it's done safely. And this is what I came up with. Now let's fire this thing up. Okay, there it is, fired up. Those are just rocks laying there. Uh, they were kind of there to spread the flame and make it look cool. Uh, I'll be showing you this at night too. Okay, that's what it looks like uh, at night, if you're interested. This was just made out of some junk that I had around. You know, what you use for this framing is, you know, up to you. This, and this one's run on propane right now. I will show you how the burner is set up so you can get an idea of, of what I've done there. One of the things I wanted to emphasize with this thing is if you're going to make something like this, I want you to have flame safety control on it. This could be very dangerous if it wasn't, and in fact, this should not be inside. It is inside where I'm at right now, but the doors are wide open, and uh, it's just for testing. I actually will be mounting this outside when I'm done. Now here's a close-up close of the orifices here. This is... Uh, this is just a fitting here, and then I put an orifice up there, which is actually a gas orifice that I plugged off the end. Kind of give you an idea. That's that same orifice right there, and I've just soldered off the end. Uh, and I put a number of holes around the perimeter of this. There's a total of six holes there, and they're 1 16th of an inch in diameter. Now this is for propane, so you've got six holes where gas is going to come out instead of up in that orifice. Now you may not have such a beast, I had that laying around. If you want you can use a pipe cap, like a half inch pipe cap, uh, but you need to use brass. Don't use steel, it will rust. So. You could uh, put a half inch pipe cap in there or some other fitting that you find about that you can put those six 1 16th inch holes in. Now I'm going to fire this off and you can take a look at what happens down there. Okay, you can see how the flame comes out of there. That's pretty much the way that's going to work. Now you can notice there's a flame rod there and there's a hot surface igniter there because I put flame safety control on this thing. Okay, in the next one, I'm going to uh, show you the setup for the uh, pressure regulators. This has a very special pressure regulator setup that you have to do just this way or it will not work properly. That's it on this one so far.